We're going to be mechanic today here in mechanic. We have a 2015 GL450 Mercedes. This uh, vehicle has the V6 twin turbo motor, and we have a sensor that has gone off. And we are going to um, find out where that sensor is, or show you where that sensor is, and discuss how you would replace it if you need to, or um, just so you know where it is at. And we've already picked the vehicle, we've matched our VIN, we have the readings that we need. And now we're going to go into control modules because we don't want to scan the whole vehicle. We just want to check out the motor um, drive, motor electronics, and then we're going to read the codes. And we have a P24D800 or 800, and that is a store. There's a pressure sensor, sensor, pressure switch, two of the evaporator emission control system has a um, circuit issue. So we will uh, locate that sensor and we will look into replace and then be able to clear out the code. So we have one cover here, we've removed that and then we'll remove this intake pipe, which just pop it out. And then this is the sensor that we're looking at. We have this sensor right down here to, that goes into the intake and it's part of the EVAP system. So we check to make sure that our electrical connector is good. We also check that there is no uh, fray on what we can see here. And if we've done those checks as good as we can, then we'll go ahead and start by just easily replacing the sensor to rule that out, as well as you'll do visual checks to see do we have an EVAP leak anywhere. So this sensor here, it's locked in with the clamp or when you have the electric connector connected up. And so you just need to twist the sensor to about the nine o'clock position and then you can pull up on it and that way you can remove that sensor. Remove the sensor, here you get a new one and be able to put it back in in the same nine o'clock position, press it down and then twist it to lock it into place and pass there's a tab on this side and this side and then be able to hook up your electrical connector and connect that back up and then be able to put your um, intake tube back on and put that cover back on and then you'll go into your code reader scanner and because we know we've replaced it connected everything we're going to go ahead and hit the erase clean it out the codes are cleared and it's telling us that there are no fault codes that have come back immediately on on your vehicle and so uh, that would be the replacement of that sensor but if you need to um, just drive your car for a week make sure that nothing comes back on if it comes back on well then you might have um, something else is leaking maybe another connection be t before that um, because you should the sensor should be good for a lot longer but there could be an evap leak that you would need to investigate into a little bit more thanks for watching mechanic you can be the mechanic